be looking at multi-value attributes and multi-value attributes are the last section of our database management systems notes where we talk about relational database design by ER2 relational mapping. So scrolling all the way down here we've gone over one-to-one, -one, weak entity, one-to-many relationships and how we would kind of chart to table these. Now looking at this last one with a multi-value attribute we need to create a new relation R for a multi-value attribute A of entity E. So we have our entity E, which is department. We have a multi-valued attribute, which would be the locations here. And then we need to create a new relation for it. So that's going to be like this department locations right here. But we'll get to this example in a second. R includes an attribute corresponding to A. So that's going to be like this locations right here and the primary key of E as the foreign key. So that's going to be this number right here. It's going to be associated to this right here. It is the foreign key associating to the primary key. The combination of A and the foreign key, so locations and our D number, are going to be the primary key of R. So these two together make up the primary key. Notice that this is just starting out basically how we've done before. We have our department entity, we have our number, and we have the name. So we have a key and an attribute. Now for locations, we need to make its own like entity right here, department locations. So we have our D number, and we need our D number because we need it to associate with this number right here. It's the same name, it's just we're changing the syntax, not syntax, but how it's spelled a little bit. And then we have locations here. So the same as locations, small name change, like dnum, that's allowed. Now the d number points to the number as its foreign key to the primary key. That's what we said here. So we have our department locations, and now this is new. We need to make our locations a key with our d number. And this is because if like we have an example right here where we have numbers and locations as a server for our primary key, we have one ny, one sac, two ny. Notice how we have two keys that are the same exact thing right here. So since they're the same exact thing, the only way to distinguish them is if we have a key number and a key location. That will distinguish them. And I think this should say serve. Number and location serve as a primary key here. So both of these together serve as primary key, even though one's a foreign key. Together they make a primary key. And that's going to be it for multi-valued attributes. Combining this with the, all the knowledge that we know previously, we can move on to examples, but that will be in the playlist link below the like button where we will actually be implementing this knowledge.